Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some more Europa Universalis for All Belongs to Mother Russia. I've had a uh, good lunch since the last episode. I'm recording a bunch of them in my off days. I still work a normal job. Um, it's not 9 to 5, but uh, I still only get two days a weekend, so I'm just going to try and record a whole bunch in a row and uh, see where we go. So uh, we're starting off here. One thing that I realized that I completely forgot to do is uh, take a look at unrest. So that's where I'm going to start. As we can see up here, we're already 50% of the way towards the Muscovite peasants, and I've got a bunch of provincial unrest. The 1% and 2% aren't, aren't so bad. It's those 17s that, that are the problem. So obviously we need to worry about that. So let's get the unrest map mode up here, which I can't even remember offhand. Here we go. Yeah, we've got some big unrest. Not surprisingly, these people don't like us. So, honestly, I might just lower autonomy here because this is not something that, that really worries me because I, I'm just going for the achievement, right? So let's just get unrest down as, as far as we can. Just in key, increase autonomy in those provinces I just got, and that'll help bring everything down to a reasonable percentage. So when we check out the rebel uprising, 50% uh, for the Muscovite peasants, uh, it's still about two years because there's a <laughs> wow, there's a lot of places where it will uh, rise. So we definitely need to worry worried about that. Kasmov, what do you have worries about? What is our problem here? It's the overextension, I'm sure. National unrest, oh, our war exhaustion, sure. Let's just buy that down. Um, I know that's not ideal. We are trying to build some points, but that'll help with, with all of this stuff too. I see that it gets it back up to six years, 22 years for that one, 29 years. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned about any of these. Oh, the Finnish Patriots. Interesting. You know, it's possible since I plan to integrate them anyway, I'm, I sh probably should just sell this right back to them. In fact, I'm going to do just that. I'm not really, well, I guess it is my only coastal province. There is that. Something to be said for that. It's my only coastal province. But we're Russia. What do we have need for a navy? Let's see. If we can fin sell this back, Finland will be love us forever. Uh, I did close the game, so well, I had lunch. It's going to take a minute to reset, and apparently my mouse battery is dying. So I might want to consider that before I play the next one. But that's what we got now. Okay, so we've subjugated part of Novgorod. We haven't done everything we need to do. So what is our plan? Yaroslav Peskov. That's our plan. We're going to get these guys up and just try and integrate them. So while we're we're going, let's play. We're going to bump it up to speed 5. I'm going to play on 5 for a while. See if my system in the game can handle it. It doesn't look all that fast, to be honest with you. So speed 5 is not that impressive on my end right now. Uh, there must be something going on with the computer that I just cannot quite figure out. And, of course, you know, did I look at it over lunch? No. But the game is running okay, aside from the saves taking forever. I did at least close the game, so if there is a memory leak, it won't be quite as egregious uh, having done seven in a row as it would be doing three and four like I will be recording. So we keep a look around here, just uh, taking up tabs. We could get advisors. We've got plenty of money. We might as well at this point. So come on, here we go, computer. Auto save, brutal. I wish you could turn off the monthly auto saves in Iron Man, but it's just uh, not possible. All right, give me some advisors. So let's see what we got. Get some national unrest. Well, that sounds pretty good right now. Now we'll go with the uh, the Vasily for some national unrest. He's cheap, level one. Let's see what can we get for a Diplo. It's all level one here. Trade efficiency doesn't really help. Diplo rep that'll help integrate our guys faster. All right, so here we go with more Patriarch Authority. The church is a large landowner, and this has brought a great deal of wealth to the church. The non-possessors claim that the church is being corrupted by this great wealth. Their opponents argue the church needs this wealth to carry out its holy mission. The key thing is the church isn't really a big taxpayer. If it was forced to give its land away, it would move into the hands of people we can tax. The downside would be the church would have less wealth to perform its mission. So we could support the church authorities to gain Patriarch Authority, or we can lose the authority we already had to lose inflation. Well, let's take a look at our economy tab. <laughs> Inflation's nothing. Is it even going up right now? No. Who cares? So, absolutely. Let's give them the authority. So, we're going to gain more patriarch authority, which is good. We're up to 10%. Um, we actually already start gaining bonuses for this. So, we're going to have lower unrest in orthodox provinces. Um, and slightly better manpower. So, that's cool. What's our manpower? 27,000. We're gaining 226 a month. Hmm. All right. Well, at least we're fully reforced. And uh, we could always build some buildings. We've got a bunch of cash flow. Um, although, you know, teching up would be a nice thing, too. So we'll go there. 
and, and see. In the meantime, let's keep hiring our advisors. So we've got our diplomatic rep, Nikolai. He's going to help us out there, the statesman, theologian. Uh, we need some sort of military advisor. It doesn't really matter what. We're just going for points here. Fort defense. That'd be pretty big in Muscovy if anyone tried to attack us. Land force limit modifier. Um, that's not as big of a deal. Oh, level three. I can't really afford nine months, though. That that seems a little high. Yeah, no way. So we'll just stick with the level one fort defense. And if anyone is foolish enough to attack us, then, you know, there, there we go. All right, unpause. We'll keep running at what it says is speed five, which is not speed five. Again, this is not a bad computer. It's quad core, all that stuff. Royal marriage from Yaroslav. Are we ready for that? How's our... How are we doing over here? We can do 166 more. I mean, we get the best bumps the farther we are. Royal marriage, that gets us up to 149. We got to get up to 190 to start integration. Um, I'm not even sure when we can start integrating. They've been in Vassal since 1444. Yeah, so we have another six years. We're not in a huge rush for that. It's going to be the same thing for Prescott. We just got to tick out the six years to make that happen. Right? Yeah, it's just going to count that 1 January 1444, the beginning of the game. So there's nothing that we have a historical. I mean, Perm would be the only one. No, it's not even that one. And then Finland, obviously, we just did. So it's going to be quite some time before that happens. Yeah, 58. So that's another nine years. We've got six years. We're not in a huge rush. Right, so we can go ahead and get the Royal Marriage now before they get up too upset. We'll unpause the game, grab ourselves a Royal Marriage. Better chance for an heir. I mean, we already have one, but you never know. Things happen. Skov here. Okay, 182 more, so we just started doing it. I don't mind tying up our diplomats to do this. A little calm music for our little calm time at war, so that works out nicely. I can have another leader, huh? Oh yeah, 25 points, I sure can. 50 di uh, military points, do we really care about that? Mm. I mean, we're not at war, we'll save the points, but it's good to know. Good to know, too many diplomatic relations. National decisions are available. Oh, oh, oh. what can we do here now? Uh, national unrest plus one to gain missionary strength. Well, that's not really in our best interest right now. A conversion would be nice, but... Uh, our unrest is a little too high, and we don't care about the taxes. So thank you for letting me know about those two things, but we will probably not be doing them at this point. Well, let's go. Let's see. Kasimov. What's my chances of converting you right now? Oh, yeah. It's still negative 3.7. So even with that boost, there's no way we're going to be high enough to do it yet. So we'll just keep on keep, keeping on where we are. Keep the unrest low. War exhaustion is ticking down. Our overextension will go away. Not much longer. We're already 86% of the way. Why is Ingerman Land so far behind? Was it just that much more base tax? It's possible. It's on the coast. Yeah, it's taking at the same rate. It's just it was on the coast. All right. Well, that's fine. No, what we haven't done is checked out the trade map mode, so that should be T. All right. I've got a merchant and Astrakhan. We are trying to move over into Kazan and into Novgorod where we collect. Yeah. Important center of trade in Moskva. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. We did pick that up. We definitely want Novgorod. Novgorod itself will be so helpful. We'll try and take that in the next war. It is isolated at this point, so it should be something we're allowed to take, if I understand the way this works. And uh, we'll, we'll go for that. Is there anyone we want to attack in the meantime? Just, you know, I mean, we've got four years to kill. Who could we go after? I mean, we could try and take Ryazan. We need Ryazan. Do they like us still? I mean, they still like us, right? There's no real reason to try and attack them. I don't have any diplomats anyway. Ah, excellent. See, now our, our overextension is going down. That'll help with the unrest in those provinces also, and there it goes. So that'll help some. National decisions, I know about that. Thank you. We don't care. Too many diplomatic relations. We're just going to ride the five out of four for now because we want to keep Denmark and Finland. And plus, we're going to integrate Pskov and Yaroslav in just four short years. And we're only losing one diplo point for that anyway. So if we look at the Diplo points, yeah, okay, I've got five instead of six. Well, you know, that could be more helpful, especially considering that we're going to start spending uh, quite a few a month. So it's good to, to save up. We've got 60 a year that's going to be saving up over the next four years, 240 points. Uh, the base tax for Braskov is going to be seven, and Yaroslav is five, so 12 points. I believe it's 20 Diplo a point, so we'll need 240. So that's the cost right there. So we're going to leave ourselves with 113. We can't spend any more than 113 points, or we're going to be in some big trouble. Finland, you still love me. You still love me. It is ticking down a little bit, but that's okay. 
Why are you ticking down a little bit? Now, just because released in peace will tick down. But I haven't even improved relations with them, so we have plenty of plenty of opportunity there. All right, my F1 shortcut still isn't working. Don't know why. And this is all we've got left. You're the Kasem nationalists. There's no way they can have much unrest left over there. What are we looking at? Negative 0.4. Yeah, so that's ticking down. All my unrest problems are taken care of. Overextension, that really is what will beat you up pretty quick. And that's that's done. Plus, we had uh, Nash, the theologian. It's it's truly amazing the help he did. All right, we got a foreign drill instructor available. Maurice of Orange pioneered new drills for firearms that made the new weapons much more effective. This drill technique was not a secret. Numerous military entrepreneurs learned the drill and placed their service at the disposal of the crowned heads of Europe. So we can hire this guy, which would get me 20 army tradition and lose ducats, which really don't matter, or decline the offer to lose prestige. Well, I don't want to lose any more prestige, and the ducats don't matter, so let's gain some army tradition. When we ever roll our free general, which actually we don't have right now, why is that? Declared war, conquered, that goes on. I'm only embargoing two of my rivals, so that doesn't help. Because uh, I can't embargo Novgorod. How long is our peace? Where am I? This is me. Our peace is until 63. Yeah, so I won't be able to embargo him for a long time. And it's not like I have any ships. Oh, but I could. I've got a naval force limit. What's my naval force limit? Come on, ships. Two! I can have two ships. That sounds like a good use of my money. Ah, but not until it's cored. All right, that's fine. We got time. So in 41.1%, we will be good. Do you actually give me a, an estimate? You do. 11 September 1541. So just a year, and I'll be able to get some ships. So I'm going up and down and up and down and up and down. Uh, I gain long time rivals. That's why it is. So I'll gain one yearly power projection as it is right now. So that's kind of nice. It helps with the legitimacy. The fourth defense is going to keep in growing morale, global trade power, which is not as impressive. If I had some free diplomats and I was bored, I would probably uh, try. Well, here we go. A call to arms. The nation of Denmark, your faithful allies, requesting to come to the aid in the Danish conquest of Lübeck against the Hansa. This is the war that they have started. Hansa is allied with Reza, Bremen, and Oldenburg. They are part of the empire, so we're going to be against Austria. All of this stuff is over there. I have no boats. Sure, I accept. I will provide many, many troops to help you. Guys, that's facetious. I'm not going anywhere. But it builds our trust with Denmark. Denmark is going to like us. Uh, I don't think they should have any trouble. Let's see what the uh, strength of the alliance looks like here. Oh, it's actually tipped a little bit towards the Hansa, mostly because of Austria. Denmark, I don't know what you're thinking when you were going against the Empire. But you must have had your reasons. I mean, it's close. I, I won't I won't lie. It is pretty close. What's our war goal? Lubeck. So you just have to control Lubeck. We'll zoom in over here. I mean, what else am I doing? I'm just waiting for time to happen. Uh, you know, I mean, Austria's right there, man. Uh, it certainly didn't take us long to get there. How long have you been in this war? Did you call me into a war that's already been going on for a while? Because that seems silly. 1450, no, I mean, it's... It's not that old. Plain old conquest. It doesn't give me an exact date. I thought it did if you hovered over it. No, well, I'll ask. 1540, I could check the ledger, but I, I don't really care. So, I mean, Austria's right there, man. At least your boats, you've got them blockaded and they can't cross over. But still, I don't i don't know what you think you were pretending. Look at that. All their army is right there. Where are we? Are we on boats or something? And there's 23, there's 31,000. 34,000, 5, 6, 37,000. Denmark has no army. Oh, Denmark was smashed. Mark's got seven, Holstein's got nothing. It's me. Basically, I'm providing the weight that's not tipping this over immediately, but I'm not I'm not getting involved with that. It's not a war I can win by myself. Look at Austria. Thirty thousand troops. That's just infantry. Forty one thousand. Your force limit is forty one thousand? That just seems huge. Austria. Oh, with 41,000 manpower. Look. Don't, 49 force limit. Don't go against the Empire. What are you thinking, man? You just don't, you don't mess with that. Where's, where's Denmark on this list? Look at how far down you have to get to Denmark, Sweden. 
My force limit's way higher than that. Oh, I'm up to 21. Well, you know what that means. Must have more Russians. Da. Give me some infantry. 57 days, those are the winners. Come on, Ingermanland. I want some boats. Did I just do two in the same spot? I can't tell because my troops are in the way. No, I did not. All right. There we go. So build up to back to the force limit. Um, should I build more cavalry? Maybe. We are at war. Yes, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Truces will expire when? 63, I think. Those are the only truces I have at the moment. Although I suppose our truce with Finland might expire sooner. Yeah. Um, when you release a nation, you have a truce, so you can't just gang up on them, which makes a lot of sense. But as it is, it doesn't matter, because we're going to peacefully integrate them. Integrate them. I don't know why I always say that. I want to say peacefully annex and integrate at the same time, and it's coming out integrate, which I think is great. Oxford, look into that. Throw it in the dictionary. It would really help me out. I got a bunch of admin points. I kind of want to get admin four so we can get an idea. You know, religious ideas has a lot to be said for it. We'll just put them in here, create another army of four. Da, 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 da. I tell you, I don't think there's much difference between four and five. So the fastest my this is, this is claiming the fastest my computer can go is speed four. There's no faster than that. I find that hard to believe. I mean, I suppose it's possible, but I do find it hard to believe. Now my big concern, right? I don't know if that alliance can get their way through Lithuania. If they can, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to start paying attention to it. But if they can't, the naval superiority of Denmark, Sweden over the Hansa means they're not going to cross. They're going to be stuck over here. So I'm not really that worried about it. Let's let's look at the diplomatic map mode and look at Austria. Okay, now do people like you? Oh, this is just the exp aggressive expansion. That won't help. That's not what I want. Uh, I don't want political unrest. No. I thought diplomatic showed you how people liked you. No, there's an opinion map mode. Yeah, there it is. Opinion map mode. All right. Oh, no! Our leader is gone. Okay. Who likes Austria? Well, I mean, they could. They might be able to get through there. Denmark will never get it because they hate Lithuania. So that's not going to happen. They don't like each other at all. Although, it's starting to cool a little bit. It's starting to cool. Huh. I tell you, I'm interested in what's going on in Tiver, though. That seems like an opportunity we could just jump on Tiver and go. Plus, their flag looks too much like my flag. I don't like that. That's my flag. Alright, so, as we can see... We are more than ready with Yaroslav. So, Yaroslav, where are we exactly? We are at 200, obviously. Uh, let's see, that's 100, that's 140, so we're at 216 as it is right now. Even if I got rid of this guy from doing his job, it's not going to decay fast enough over three years, 36 months. Well, it could. It could take us down to 180. But we could just bump it back at the last little bit as we need it. Biskov is going to be there too, so let's take a look at this Tiver situation. Let's recall you, thank you. And see if we can't just, you know, throw a little claim down here. Oh, we have a royal marriage. Yeah, well, that's not going to work then. I'm allied to them, of course. It's Ryazan that I could attack if I wanted to. We have no connections, no ties right now. So, with Ryazan, oh, you're a vassal of the Golden Horde now? Well, if that isn't annoying. Golden Horde is currently at war against no guy. It might be the right opportunity to slip in and grab Ryazan, but I have no claims. Oh, oh wait a minute, what are you? 
Oh, that's just a Lithuanian claim. I don't care about that. It's Ryazan that I'm after. Because in order to meet my goal, I must have either Ryazan or what? That's Novgorod. That's not what I want. Ryazan or Smolensk. So it's either Lithuania or the Golden Horde. So who do I want? Lithuania or the Golden Horde? We don't need to pause for this. Golden Horde is 19,000 of Force Limited 19, so we are higher than them now. Uh, with 15,000 manpower, Lithuania, Poland is definitely stronger, po stronger potential. They must be at war right now. Busy. Maybe they got involved, actually, maybe. Well, if they were fighting us, we'd expect them to come after us right now, so that's not what's happening. But they're in, at war. Who are they at war with? Who are you fighting, Lithuania? No one? You must have just got out of a war. It doesn't make much sense to me that you would have those uh, such low troop counts. These are the only people we're at war with. It doesn't seem like a lot, except when you consider that one of them is the Emperor. Denmark, I don't know, man. This is not going well for you. All over this. I mean, I granted, Lubick is like one of the most strategic nodes in the entire European continent. But uh, I don't know if it's worth it, Denmark. Look at all these troops. Even if I brought my guys over there, we can't match this. There's no way we can match that. I'm not even sure how I get over there in the first place. Sweden's just sitting in Stockholm. They have no interest in helping you. They're just thinking this is the time to break free. They actually like us right now. That's a tempting proposition. Alright, well, not a lot happened in this video. I do know that. But we're just waiting for our integration. It's going to happen in three years, and my speed five is not a very entertaining speed five. But we will go continue to take a look around at the world. I think we may take advantage of this Golden Horn opportunity, try and get a uh, claim on to Ryzen and, and get that into our fold, because... Uh, it should be a quick war. All we want out of the Golden Horde is one province, so it's not like we need a giant war score. And uh, they may be willing to give that up pretty pretty easily, especially with that conquest in No Guy. But I've got to move fast because it looks like they're almost done with that conquest. Either way, click the like button if you enjoyed it. Please do consider subscribing to stay updated to all the content in the channel. And until I see you next time, cheers!